Dear Diary, in this video, I talked about my basement living experience, the pros and cons of living in a basement. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? My name is Duni and welcome to Duni's Diary. If you're new on this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. On this channel, I literally talk about everything and anything basically just exposing myself out there you're a returning watcher thank you for for coming back to listen to me rant please do not forget to subscribe like share whatever it is that you wish to do with my video please do not forget to do that any good thing that's it <laughs> and if you are an og subscriber thank you so much for subscribing now without further ado i'm just going to jump right into the video today in my last vlog i talked about um house renting how to rent an apartment or a, a place or a house basically here in canada specifically in bc today i'm going to talk about my basement living experience yeah, let's right. jump right into it first of all you know you get a house that you like you speed a basement or an apartment a condo you know a shared laundry kind of apartment in suits of laundry um toilet bathroom anything any any type of house you get it and then you begin to you know think about how to move in and sign the agreements and all of that so what's the next step basically what's the next step after signing the agreement now for me after I signed my agreement and signed the addendum that was attached to the contract, now time to move into the apartment. We're just going to share my pros and cons of living in a basement. Now, nowhere is terrible except you know you are a terrible person, or a terrible tenant. Every landlord ensures that either our tenant um, is living peacefully and in a very livable manner in a very livable way i can't tell for the other landlords that are the exceptions having said that there are still some pros and cons of living in a basement which i have highlighted based on my experience you know so i'm going to start with the pros most times the basement the rent for the basement is usually very affordable very 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 affordable because now i don't know if you anyone watching me has an understanding of what the basement says and how it look imagine i just jump right into it without explaining so before i even go further i'm just going to explain to you what a basement is a basement is a, is a type of apartment usually being um, rented out or subletted out to people now it comes with the whole house I'm just going to insert pictures so that you guys see what I'm talking about. It comes to the whole house. So we have a house with two bedrooms, three bedrooms. Normally, the basement is usually underground, under the house, right? Now, most people just to get extra income to help with their mortgage payments and or just extra income, they sublet the basement room, right, to people to live in, right, which is a win-win situation. Some basements are ground level, which is on the same level, when, when they say ground level, on the same level with the house. When you hear basement, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, on the ground. Now, because of the peculiarity of this house, um, sometimes you don't really get to see sun rays and all of that, but, you know, depending on where you are living, right, it's still a livable condition, you get me? The rent for the basement is usually very affordable. Now the rent always, almost always includes utilities. Now some landlords will include utilities with the rent with the rent payment, or some will say you are paying 25%, 75%, 20%, 50% of what they would be paying, right? So that's I don't really advise anyone to go for that because those guys can just change it month on month. You have to write it on the contract or the addendum that your fixed payment for one year is this i'm not going beyond i'm not going you know beyond it we can go below but i'm not going beyond it, you get what i mean <laughs> so yeah so the rent is really very affordable sometimes you see rent as low as 1 to 50 in bc here vancouver area maybe a little bit outside of Van the downtown area like um burnaby new west metro town you see pr prices like that sorry um in those areas like outside of downtown vancouver you see prices like that sometimes you see rem, rent payments has, can go as high as well 500 depending on the area depending on the environment depending on where you are sitting seeking 
right this basement living so we have the rent we have parking included sometimes some you know because it's like a residential area so most times these basements are usually in suburbs or you know a very nice residential area that where you know that family people are the ones living here so they usually do have street parking so i for example i had the option to park outside of the the house the main building right and if friends came around friends that had cars if they came around they could park on the streets as well so it's usually an option you get what i mean and then me my neighbors my landlord some occasionally when they had events or they had something happening they would give me food like when i moved in they gave me food they offered me enough food per se like snacks and all of that so some landlords are really nice they can give you that they can't you know doesn't matter no hard feelings everyone to their taste nobody is disturbing anybody <laughs> in that regard so yeah so that's like some of the pros i highlighted in living in a basement so basements uh, entrances to basements so they call it private private entrances sometimes you you see whereby before you get into your house you have to go through the main house but people don't build houses like that anymore but there are some situations like that there are some situations where you have like your own private entrance to your own house so you don't need to disturb the main house you know you can just go by the sides of the building of the of the house to your own basement apartment so yeah so that now, jumping onto the cons the cons the cons the con the con number one con for me is that i am living underground <laughs> there is no view or let me say there is limited view so right now and that's because right now i'm living in a condo high rise considerably high and my view is magnificent like i wake up in the morning i'm like oh wow such a lovely view you get what i mean so but it's limited for a basement apartment like the view is just open the door you are seeing the yard god help you the yard is mode. Um, everything's looking nice and pretty but <laughs> as bad as the bad <laughs> that's what you'll be looking at and because of the way the house is because the house is underground there's limited sun rays entering your house now sometimes people are lucky they get like um windows big windows that can take in sun rays into the house another con is that you hear everything that's happening upstairs <laughs> you literally hear everything that's happening upstairs if they you hear if they uh, you hear you hear literally everything that's happening upstairs so what my landlord used to do i don't know why they came up with that trick but they would switch on the vacuum i think when especially when they want to make like conversations switch on the vacuum and that's what i hear the mm, the noise when so when i heard the noise is on i know that oops you are talking you are saying something or something's happening you get what i mean but you literally hear and then the stomping the bush that was a problem for me like i didn't like it i didn't like that you know they were stomping the ground boom, boom, bush, bush, bush. it was too much for me so that was another corner that's another con for me some people don't mind well i do mind some people don't mind and yeah another con is sometimes landlords want to micromanage man oh mine had that a little bit so questions like or oh, your your internet usage because you are using their internet although you've paid for it using their internet they'll try they'll try to you know kind of micromanage you or you left so when it, the first few weeks when i moved in i noticed that he was asking me oh i forgot it was like checking i forgot to close the windows i forgot to, i'm like i left the windows open for cross ventilations i know i did not forget you know things like that um this is not the first time i'm living outside of my parents house i'm not going to destroy your property just chill you know things like that some people don't mind that well i did mining i don't like to micromanage i don't think anybody does but you know if you don't mind good for you if you do mind you know you just know how to manage the expectations from this landlord or you i'll get messages like oh the internet like there was a time i got a message like what how much internet am i using i'm like i don't know i can't tell you have access to see your internet information why don't you check you know things like that like i'm using the internet i'm using the internet why are you asking me questions like that the micromanaging and then some of them are actually very greedy some would say that they would you know they'll just pump up the price and say okay they are increasing utilities bills because just because <laughs> 
you'll be amazed a fortunate neighbors let me not even go into that but that's like i keep on saying that i have to tell you guys this gist. i genuinely do have to tell you guys this gist. i have shot the video i'm just not satisfied with what i said and how i, I was looking but i'm going to do that for you guys so sometimes you share your basement with a neighbor like me for example i shared my basement with a neighbor now i shared not my basement space exactly so there were two basement suites available in the house because the landlord's house is really big it could accommodate two tenants right so i had a neighbor who came in sometime in april the previous neighbor i had before i um before april was really nice quiet we were both quiet to each other nobody told me nobody you know but then in april i had one that was you know the experience was very unfortunate you know he had a lot of records happening sometimes you have unfortunate neighbors how to deal with those neighbors avoid them as best as you can avoid them avoid them avoid them i can't even, I can't even say it more than how i've said like avoid them as best as you can that's like the living experience now like living in the basement experience in some that i had now moving out of the basement hmm, guys you don't have to be careful though what you signed on your lease you have to cross check everything in the addendum did they say damage of property i'm going to pay for it did they say we aren't here I'm in charge of it. They say, you know, professional cleaning. I'm in charge of it. You know, look at it word by word. Look at it very well so that you are sure of what you are doing before you leave. Now, I was naive, to be honest. I was naive and it really burnt me because all of these things were not stated. However, I was charged for them and I did not know on time, right? I was just very naive, but I've learned my lesson moving forward. <laughs> so, make sure you check what has been stated as the leaving criteria when you want to leave if the if you have wear and tear and they say they're going to charge you for it be sure to talk to your landlord and you know get a quote let's see the quotes let's negotiate how much is it what are you going to get i can get one if you want me to you know and we can decide how much of my deposit i'm going to get back you get what i mean not to um deter anyone from getting a basement if they have the opportunity to but it's just to inform you to let you know the pros and sometimes and cons of living in a basement and you can weigh your options and see if this is something that you can manage for a set time or a set duration of time you know i hope you guys have enjoyed me rant you know and talk i'd love to see your comments down below let me know if you had any issues with landlord <laughs> landlords or your current landlord or if your landlord is nice as my current landlord is <laughs> or if you had any if you have any tips in living in the basement tips that you feel like other people can share can benefit from please leave your comments down below and please do not forget to subscribe guys subscribe we are going this family please do subscribe <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>